Hi, this is my tutorial on how I updated my GPS unit I just bought, uh, the software in it. I noticed there was an update for it, and I figured I'd do the update and kind of show it online. Here's the unit itself. I just purchased this uh, a couple days ago. I haven't even installed it yet, but I figured I'd have it sitting in the house, so I might as well do the update now. So I'm going to go down to the settings, and it will show me where... Uh, uh, I think it'll show me the uh, software that it has now. System. Uh, let's see, where is the system information? Uh, software information. And it says right at the top, software version 3.0. Well, if I go over here, to my handy laptop, I basically looked up the unit on Garmin and right here you can see there's the software icon I'm gonna click on that and then it brings you to this and it shows you know there's the uh, update there is an update as of April 26 2016 if I hit download it basically shows me what units this is updates for and all that Scroll down, I have the Echo Map. Let's see, the 73SB over here. It says I, uh, the update is a 3.4. And this one is a 3.0. So I'm going to do the update. So I'm going to download it uh, by clicking on the download button up top, I think. Yeah, okay. Save. It should start downloading. So here it is downloading. And I guess in the meantime while it's doing that, just to tell you real quick, uh, there's a rebate if you buy the blue charts, which you can see I downloaded the PDF file for that and filled that out. You get $200 back. Um, if you buy the blue chart, which is 240 bucks, and then you know this unit was 850 at the time, the chart model, so uh, basically, I get the the blue chart HD visions for forty dollars with the two hundred dollar rebate. So I thought that was a pretty good deal because this model here comes with the uh, um, the lakes and all that. So now I'll have lakes and ocean waters. So that's good. I live here in the Washington State, so I go to Puget Sound and lakes. So it works out for me. And it just finished downloading, so now it's extracting the file. Hang on. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see. And removable disk, yep. So I did install my, you gotta get a SD, micro SD card and a, a adapter or whatever. For my laptop but the sd card obviously goes in the unit it goes in right behind there right in that slot so anyway let's try waiting copying so it's automatically on the card automatically copying it to it that's kind of cool <clears throat> okay that was pretty quick uh just says that update was successful and uh, should just hit finish. And we should be good to go. So I should just have to uh, pull this card out and stick it in the unit. And we'll try doing that hair set. Okay, just turning the unit on now. <clears throat> I think I'll wait to put this in once uh, it boots. Okay, just uh, loaded up, and I'm going to try sliding this in here with one hand. Mm. Doing it wrong, maybe upside down. No, it doesn't seem... <laughs> I guess I wish I knew which way it went in. Let's see. 
Turn it up. It seems like it. No, it doesn't want to go on upside down. I guess it's right side up with the words on the top. It didn't seem like it wanted to go in that way, but I guess it. Oh, and it pushes in and it snaps in. It clicks. You going to do anything? Hmm. Not sure what to do at this point. <laughs> okay, so I finally got it to accept my card. Problem was it was too big. My card was too big. I wouldn't recognize it. it didn't even think that there was a card in there. I figured it out because I was trying to do a screenshot, and it wouldn't. It said no card, even though it was installed. So, I uh, that was a 64 gig card. I put in an 8 gig card, and bam, it came right up. So, anyways, I download the software on the 8 gig, and it's finally popping up now. So uh, I'm gonna hit the update. And it says, do not mess with it, basically. It looks like it's updating from the 3.0 to the 3.4 version software. Okay, don't mess with it, basically. <laughs> Alright, that only took about... 20 seconds and I thought it was going to take a lot longer looks like it's rebooting it should show oh no I guess it's still loading the software <laughs> loader ready okay Apparently it goes to this screen when it's downloading or updating or whatever. And there we go. It says version 3.4. And that's another thing, the Lakeview Detail version 17.5. It says you can update, but you can only update once for free. So I'm not sure if I want to wait on that or what, but all right, we're over we're updated, I guess. Guess I can go see double check system system info was 3.0. Oh, now it's 3.4. Good deal. I know there's a bunch of bugs they fixed and they added a couple features. It explains all that in the download on the internet. What they've done with the different versions from 3.0 to, I think it was 3.1 to 3.2. Or I think it was 3.0 to 3.2 to 3.3 to 3.4. So there's been a couple up updates. So there you go.